In this video, I want to show you how you can read data which was created in Stata. You can also use this information for SPSS because the functions are nearly the same. For that, we use the package foreign. So it's called foreign. Let's take a look at the help section for the foreign package. So as you can see, you can read and also write data with several endings or with several formats. Um, normally I use it for Stata. Stata has the DTA ending. Please note that you can also write uh, DTA formats, which you can then later on use uh, for your Stata program. In this exercise or in this example, I'm going to show you how you can actually read in a DTA Stata binary file. The process would be quite the same if you would like to read in SPSS data files. Uh, please note that um, there are also other packages available in R which, um, which you can use to read data from Excel, SPSS, SAS or MATLAB. So for example there is the package RODBC which is quite good for Excel. For SPSS you can also use the HMISC package. So it's HMISC. You can also use this for SAS. And for MATLAB there is another package called R.MATLAB. In this example again we are going to use the 4N package. Alright. So first of all to use this package we have to load it we can we can use the library command so it's library brackets foreign then we're gonna run this one and now we have the the foreign library activated please note that for this command we need uh, to set a working directory or we need to tell the computer from which folder it should take the file in this case I was using the the set wd command so it's set wd um, brackets quotations and then you would you would type in the location on your computer where this folder is located in my case it's users admin desktop and then final so my folder is called final and in this folder i have this um, the dta data file stored you could also use for example the uh, session set working directory and choose directory that would do the exact same thing it would also set the working directory then you would run this command and now uh, the working directory is set to read in the data you would actually use the read.dta command right so it's read.dta, then brackets, quotations, and then you have the file name dot and the ending. Since it's a Stata file, I have DTA. And I'm gonna run this one. And now I have this data set in my environment. Let's take a look at it. As you can see, you have the labels and you have the whole data set in the environment now and with this one I can I can work perfectly fine now all right so it's basically three steps you have uh, to load the library then you have to set the working directory and then you use the uh, the read.dta command to get the dta data set in your r console This was Martin from r-tutorials.com. Please do not forget to subscribe and to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and if you found it helpful. If you have any questions, you can contact me directly at my website r-tutorials.com or you could for example leave a comment. Furthermore, just take a look at the other videos I prepared for you on the topic of R programming.